Despite coming up just short of his first European Tour win, Brian Fox headlined a group of three players who qualified for the Open by virtue of their finishes at the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. Fox twice faced a putt from inside 15 feet with the tournament hanging in the balance. The first, a birdie putt on the 72nd hole, would have given him the win outright. But he missed it, and he also missed one from similar range on the next hole that would have extended the playoff with eventual champion Russell Knox. It's still a career best finish on the European Tour for the long hitting Kiwi, who entered the week ranked no. 124 in the world. He'll now make his third career open appearance, having tied for 49th in 2015 and having missed the cut last year. Joining Fox at Carnoustie will be England's Andy Sullivan and South African Xander Lombard, who both tied for sixth at Ballyliff in. Sullivan has fallen off in recent years from a career best 28th in the world ranking, but the 31 year old will now make his fourth straight open appearance, having made the cut each of the last three years. The surprise qualifier from the group was Lombard, who started the week ranked no. 581, had missed his last six cuts in a row and has only made one prior start in a major championship. There are four more open spots up for grabs for the top players not otherwise qualified among the top 12 Sunday at the Greenbrier. The Open qualifying series will conclude next week, with three spots available for top 10 finishers at the Scottish Open and one spot for the top player not otherwise qualified among the top five at the John Deere Classic. Another start, another rules violation for Phil Mickelson. Lefty has been giving the rulebook a bit of a workout this summer, and that effort continued Sunday at the Greenbrier when he tapped down some long fescue grass with his foot in front of the seventh tee box. Because the grass was along his intended line of flight, Mickelson called a two-shot penalty on himself after consulting with a rules official for a violation of Rule 13-2. After consulting a rules official, Bill Mickelson assessed himself a two-stroke penalty for improving his line of play, violation of Rule 13-2. Pick.twitter.com slash 61G5Guy, PGA Tour, at PGA Tour, July 8, 2018 According to Rule 13-2, a player may not improve the area of his intended stance or swing, or his line of play, by a series of actions that, includes moving, bending or breaking anything, growing or fixed, and creating or eliminating irregularities of surface, had Mickelson reteed his ball in a different area of the tee box, where the grass in question wasn't along his intended line, he would not have been penalized. Nicholson, who started the day nine shots off the lead, made a double bogey on no. Seven after the two-shot penalty was added and made the turn in three over 37. This marks Mickelson's first start since the US Open, where he created a storm of controversy by deliberately hitting a moving ball on the green during the third round. He was ultimately assessed a two-shot penalty but not disqualified and went on to tie for 48th at Shinnecock Hills. Mickelson is in the field for next week's Scottish Open before heading to Carnoustie in search of his second Open victory the following week. Article tags, Bill Mickelson after holing not one but two lengthy putts on the 18th green at Bally Liffin, Russell Knox earned his first ever victory in Europe at the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. Knox started the final round six shots off the lead, but the tournament became a free-for-all when Eric Van Rugen's four-shot advantage disappeared before the South African made the turn. At one point there was a four-way tie for the lead, one that include both Knox and New Zealand's Ryan Fox. But by the time Knox reached the 18th green, Fox was one shot ahead and on the verge of his first career European Tour win. But Knox rolled in a 40-foot birdie putt to close out a 6-under 66 and drive in with Fox at 14-under, then watched as Fox missed a short birdie putt of his own that would have won the tournament outright. Full field scores from the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open Knox then appeared to have an uphill battle in overtime after missing the fairway on the first extra hole, but he quickly turned the tables on Fox by rolling in a nearly identical putt from a long range for birdie on the 18th green. 
when Fox's effort to match from inside 15 feet lipped out, Knox had his first worldwide win since the 2016 Travelers Championship and became the first Scot to win the Irish Open since Colin Montgomery in 2001. Prior to this week, his lone European Tour win came when he captured the 2015 WGC HSBC Champions in China. The victory caps a recent run of form for Knox, who plays primarily on the PGA Tour and barely missed out on a spot on the 2016 European Ryder Cup team. He had fallen to no. 137 in the world rankings as recently as last month, but his victory comes after a T2 finish last week at the HNA French Open which qualified him for the Open, and he is now expected to crack the top 50 when the new world rankings are published. Article tags, Russell Knox, 2018 DDF Irish Open were it not for an early triple bogey during the final round, or a stubborn flag stick on the final green, John Ram may have found a way to successfully defend his title at the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. Ram started the final round eight shots off the pace, and his chances were all but doomed by a seven on the par four second hole. But with overnight leader Eric Van Ruyen collapsing behind him, Ram found an extra gear and played his final 16 holes at Ballyliffin in nine under to post a closing 66. Full field scores from the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open The Spaniards round was highlighted by a hole out eagle on the par four six, and Ram nearly added another on the last hole of the tournament. Needing an eagle to tie the clubhouse lead, Rom's short wedge rattled off the flagstick but bounced away instead of dropping. The subsequent birdie ended his week at 12-under, which ultimately left him in a tie for fourth and two shots out of a playoff between Ryan Fox and Russell Knox. Ram birdied each of the two holes following his triple bogey, and he closed out his round with four straight birdies on nose, 15-18. It's the second straight top five finish for Ram in a Rolex Series event, as he also tied for fifth last week at the HNA French Open. He's not in the field for next week's Scottish Open at Glane, meaning Sunday's rally marked his final competitive round before teeing it up at the Open at Carnoustie. Ram, who finished fourth this year at the Masters, has finished T59 and T44 in his two prior Open appearances. Article tags, John Ram, 2018 Dubai Duty Free Irish Open leading by five points heading into Sunday singles at the Arnold Palmer Cup, the United States dominated the internationals to retain the cup in the first competition that featured both men's and women's college players. The Americans won 38.5 to 21.5 at the Evian Resort in France. Of the 24 singles matches on the final day, the U.S., One seventeen and have two others. Click here for full scoring results. Arkansas's Alana Uriel earned the clinching point for the U.S., which improved to the 1st of September 12 in the Ryder Cup-style competition. After Uriel's clincher, the Americans won 9 of the remaining 11 matches to blow out their opponents. Article tags, Arnold Palmer Cup, Palmer Cup, NCAA Golf, NCAA, College Golf.